The fifth episode of Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, is, in my opinion, the best episode of the saga, next to Revenge of the Sith, of course. The plot in it develops dynamically, solidly, not as jumpy as some episodes and with an unexpected ending. Luke, I'm your father. Even those who haven't seen Star Wars know this phrase. Did you know that Vader didn't say that phrase? Seriously. Luke, I am your father, is a fan fiction. It's pronounced differently in the original and carries a different meaning. There's room for drama, love, and Yoda, the teacher-teacher. In general, the merits of the movie can be listed for a long time. But for many people, one question remained unsolved. How many days did Luke train with the Great Master to gain power so dramatically and defeat Vader in the next episode? I wonder if Yoda also trained the younglings. So three years pass after the destruction of the first Death Star when the Empire strikes back by defeating the rebel base on Hoth. The rebels flee. Leia, Han and Wookiee, along with the C-3PO, get stuck somewhere on an asteroid with no hyperdrive or communications. They have no choice but to fly to the nearest star on their own, where they will be captured by Vader as they leisurely crawl to Bespin, not even realizing that one of the Empire's mercenaries, Boba Fett, is following them. Luke Skywalker, having been decreed by the ghost of Obi-Wan, flies to Dagobah, meets Yoda, and begins his journey as a Jedi. Overall, according to the timeline of the movies, there is a year between the fifth and sixth episodes, so Luke's training was definitely no more than a year. However, there is a fan theory that time is faster on Dagobah, that a day in the galaxy is a week on the planet. That may be true, but I haven't seen it confirmed in canon, so it will remain just a theory. However, there are other more concrete figures. You can find them in the Star Wars Encyclopedia or by simply scrolling through Wikipedia. From these sources it appears that the autonomy of the Millennium Falcon on which Han Solo flew is only two months. From here we conclude that the team reached Bespin no more than two months to get directly into the hands of Vader waiting for them. Of the uncertainty remains only the time of Han Solo's torture and the time of Luke Skywalker's arrival but his Crestacryl was equipped with hyperdrive, and that shortens the journey considerably. Plus, the Crestacryl's autonomy doesn't exceed one week. So, shoot me down, classic fans, but... Master Yoda trained Luke for about two months. Then he flew off to save his friends before he finished his training. <laughs>